In this video, I'm gonna talk about what are the average interest rates on business loans in 2022. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This question comes up all the time. What's the rate on a business loan? In this video, I'm gonna talk about what are the average interest rates on business loans in 2022. This is a very interesting question. There's so many different business loan products out there today, so there's not like a blanket answer for this. So I'm gonna walk through a number of the different loans and financing products that are out there for your business and break down the cost on each one of those. There's bank loans, there's SBA loans, there's non-bank SBA loans, and then there's also FinTech and non-bank lenders that are out there. So if you're fortunate enough to actually get a loan from a bank, um, getting a loan from a bank is usually gonna be your lowest cost. And getting a loan from a bank will typically be around prime rate or prime rate plus one to 5%. So as I make this video, prime rate is around 3.25%. So when I say prime rate plus, let's say 2%, if prime rate is 3.25%, plus two would be five and a quarter percent. Great deal, great rate. So again, SBA loans are great, long repayment terms. You can use them for working capital, 10 years. You can use them to buy real estate, 25 years. And again, you're looking at prime rate, typically plus one to 3%. Great interest rates. Um, there's some things that go along with that. You need to be profitable. Um, there's some debt ratios. Um, credit comes into play, um, time in business, a number of different things. So the next best thing and lowest rate is gonna be um, equipment financing. Um, typically, those rates start at four, and they're typically between 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12%. It can go higher depending on risk, depending on your credit, um, and also depending um, on the piece of equipment that you're buying, and also some facts about your business, how long you've been in business, and some other things going on with your business and personal credit. Outside of uh, equipment financing, you've got term loan products, business advances, and lines of credit. So uh, term loans are typically, if, they're, if you're not using any type of real estate, will be anywhere from 10% um, all the way up to 19 to even 24%. Again, those are based on risk. Um, they're based on your personal credit, your time in business, your industry type, um, your business credit, and then how profitable your business is or is not. So all of those things will fluctuate the interest rate there. Revolving lines of credit, um, you don't need real estate um, for these. They're not, they're non-bank lenders. Um, they're true revolving lines of credit. Um, and those will be anywhere from 1% to 2% per month, depending on what you get approved for and the line. The cool thing about lines of credit is you borrow what you need. If you pay it back, you only pay interest for however long it was outstanding. Those are really great for folks that are constantly buying and selling things, inventory, et cetera. All right, and then lastly is a business uh, cash advance or a merchant cash advance. These products are not loans. They're actually a purchase of your future sales. Um, they're not personally guaranteed, which is good for you. Um, there are some lenders out there that are really good. There's some lenders that are not. Some of these products can get very expensive. Some of them have come down tremendously over the last few years. Um, the cost on those products will be anywhere from one and a half to two and a half percent per month. Um, and it's really important that you work with the right lender on these. All of these products have a time and a place. If your business qualifies for a bank loan, it's the best deal out there. You should absolutely take it. Uh, most people think, and most business owners actually think, that I only need money when things are going wrong. But it's actually the opposite. When your business is growing fast, you're growing, money's going out the door fast to grow the business, and usually it's not coming in fast enough. So you have to have some sort of um, financing tool in place. Otherwise, you're gonna hit a glass ceiling um, and your cash flow is not gonna keep up with your growth. We see this every single day in my business. And my business is helping businesses grow by helping them obtain financing. So it's really important that you understand the ROI in your own business and if you understand that ROI, you can really make sense of the financing that you're looking to take out. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. And please remember that interest rates are always and ever changing. Um, if you have more questions, if you'd like to understand where the rates are at today and are contemplating doing something in your business, check out the link below. Connect with someone on my team. Thanks for tuning in to Grow by Joe. I wish you nothing but success, and we'll talk soon.